it's not like, oh, I decided that the elements is going to be fixed, and then it happens, right? I can also only do where a lot of people have energy for. Like mango, visual effects, and all that. There's a lot of interest in the community to work on that kind of things. But the game engine is more difficult. Difficult to get good game engine developers, especially to get the picture of what do we want with the game engine. What should it go to? What kind of specification do we want for it? This is a discussion we can talk about, and you can talk to me about that, and we have to talk about that online. And that's the, the licensing topic, we'll keep popping up. Uh, Blender has a distributed copyright. It means if we would like to change the license ever, everyone who ever contributed in the past 10 years should agree on that. That makes it difficult, really difficult to change the license, but it's not impossible. So. And then the, yeah, the getting uh, so in some way our development organized better. But there's a lot of expectations on them, the people that have a stable and supported. How do we manage that? How do we manage this growth? From we really have like 50 to 100 developers cooperating, it's difficult. How do we prevent that becoming a horrible management system? <coughs> Well, that's what we need you guys for. Get involved. There are many ways to get involved. You can get it all summarized on blender.org, that's on the right hand, the Get Involved link. Uh, we need people from colleges, universities.